One of the great things about building an application on the Bubble platform is that as soon as you create the new app within your Bubble account, you have instant access to it online through a Bubble hosted domain. For example, mybusiness.bubbleapps.io. And this is true for the free plan as well. Once you're on any one of the paid plans, you can then connect your app to a custom domain. For example, mybusiness.com. And there are many reasons why you want to connect your app to a custom domain as soon as you can. The first reason is that you'll create a lot more authority over your app by white labeling that domain. Whenever your users land on any one of your app pages and they see a custom domain in the URL, it's going to be more professional for them. They're going to take it more seriously that it's a real product or solution that you've given them. Um, and you won't end up confusing them if you know they were to otherwise see bubbleapps.io in the URL. And once you have set up the custom domain, you can further customize the built-in email sending capabilities in Bubble by white labeling the sender address of your emails. Without that custom domain and without those configurations, all email coming from your app is going to be sent from a no reply bubble address. So at some point you do want to get rid of that. Technically, when you're on the free plan, you can share access to the app, but it's only going to be on a bubble hosted domain and it's only going to be to the app's development environment, which is like a sandbox environment for you as the app builder, maybe some internal testing. Your free plan is more limited. Once you're ready to move into more formal testing with beta users, for example, you want to move into any one of the paid plans and that's going to unlock a lot of other capabilities for you, including getting access to the live environment of your application, which is truly the environment you want to share with others. And you can connect to a custom domain. This way you can make things a lot more polished for your users. Keep in mind, if your app is very dependent on SEO performance, you do want to connect it to a custom domain as soon as you can so that the right URLs are going to be crawled by search engines and you can start to build up that authority over the domain. Hey, real quick, if you're finding this helpful, our fast track course goes vastly more in depth about how to take your app from idea to launch. Founders who are looking for a complete start to finish blueprint have found it the most helpful. So take a look at coachingnocodeapps.com slash fast hyphen track to see if it might be a good fit for you too. Bubble itself isn't a domain registrar, but they make it really easy for you to connect to a domain. They'll walk you through with all the instructions you need once you've purchased it from any one of the popular domain managers, such as GoDaddy, Namecheap, uh, Bluehost, Squarespace, and others. You'd be surprised how many different things your domain is connected to, you know, related to your app long term. Files that are uploaded, any links that you want to share externally, analytics for tracking, you know, page views, clicks, email, um, you know, being able to create really clean navigation, SEO, some of these things we've already mentioned in this video. But um, if you're serious about putting your application out there, especially if you're going to have integrations with other systems, your domain is very tightly related to many different components of your app. So it is one of the first things that you'll want to get in place when you're ready to go live.